Hello everyone, in this video we have solved a nice radical mass problem square root 3 plus 1 whole to the power 10 is equal to what? How to solve this question? So first of all, let let solution square root 3 plus 1 is equal to x we will add this is equal to x our target x to the power 10 is equal to what because of that this is equal to x now at this moment you can see this expression it will be x is equal to square root 3 plus 1 now i move on this one in this side it will be x minus 1 is equal to square root 3 then i use both side whole square x minus 1 whole to the power 2 is equal to square root 3 bracket whole to the power 2 i use both side whole square i solve uh, this question step by step now at this moment you can see little v a minus v whole square so here i can see little v a square minus 2 a b plus v square i mean 1 square will be 1 and square root 3 is cancel here is 3 square root is cancel here is 3 now at this moment you can see this expression it will be x square is equal to 3 minus it will be plus 2x and here is negative 1 then i can see here is x square is equal to 3 minus 1 it will be 2 and here is 2x so we'll find out here is x square uh, x square it will be 2x plus 2 now if i use both side again whole square it will be x square and whole to the power 2 and here twice x plus 2 whole to the power 2 i use both side again whole square then you can see this 2 times this 2 it will be 4 so it will be x to the power 4 is equal to a plus b whole square it will be a square plus 2ab plus v square v is 2 then here it will be x to the power 4 is equal to 4 x square plus 4 times 2 times 4 it will be 4 times 2 it will be 8 x plus 4 now here you can see x to the power 4 is equal to 4 and x square recall here is x square it will be 2 x plus 2 here x square it will be 2x plus 2 i put this value in this equation so it will be twice x plus 2 plus 8x plus 4 now at this moment here x to the power 4 is equal to 8x 2 times 4 it will be 8x plus 4 times 2 it will be 8 and here is 8x plus 4 now at this moment i can see here is x to the power 4 is equal to 8x plus 8x it will be 16x 8 plus 4 it will be 12. so we'll find out x to the power 4 it will be 16x plus 12. And then i use both sides again whole square i use both sides again whole square 16x plus 12 whole to the power 2. now here I can see here x to the power 8 is equal to 16x whole square i mean a square plus 2ab plus v square i mean 12 square now you can see really this expression it will be x to the power 8 <coughs> here x to the power 8 is equal to 16x square it will be 256 256 x square plus 2 times 16 16 times 12 it will be 384 x plus 12 square it will be 144 144 now here x to the power 8 is equal to 56 256 and x square you know that x square first of all here uh, it will be uh, 2x plus 2 so i put this value here here 
so it will be 2x plus 2 and it will be 384x plus 144 now at this moment i can see here is x to the power 8 it will be 256 times 2 it will be 512 so i can see it will be 512x plus 512 plus 384x plus 144 144 now here x to the power 8 is equal to 512x plus 384x you can see it will be 896x plus and 512 plus 144 you can see it will be 656 now at this moment we are find out here is x to the power 8 is equal to this so i multiply this value by x square because of that where target x to the power 10 is equal to what and this value it will be um, here 8 9 x plus 6 5 6 times x square it will be 2 x plus 2 now here I can see that it will be x to the power 8 plus 2 according to exponential law and this times this is equal to what so you can see that here is 16 is common so this divide this it will be 56 x plus this divide this it will be 41 times twice x you can see that here is also 2 is common so it will be x plus 1 now at this moment here is x to the power 8 plus 2 it will be 10 is equal to 16 times 2 it will be 32 you can see that it is 32 and here 56 x plus 41 times x plus 1 now at this moment here is x to the power 10 and it will be 32 and this times this it will be 56 x square and this time this it will be 56 x this time this it will be 41 x and this time this it will be 41 now here x to the power 10 is equal to i can say it will be 32 times 56 x square plus 56 x plus 41 it will be 97 97 x plus 41 now <clears throat> at this moment i can see that here is x to the power 10 32 times 56 and x it will be twice x plus 2 i put this value again to x plus 2 x square and here is 97 x plus 41 now i can see that here is x to the power 10 and here is 32 times 56 times 2 it will be 112 x plus 112 and then 97 x plus 41 now at this moment x to the power 10 is equal to 32 times and we know that 112 x plus 97 it will be 209 x and 112 plus 41 it will be 153 we'll find out x to the power 8 is equal to that this but x to the power 10 so x to the power 10 and here is 32 and we know that x it is it will be first of all recall x is equal to square root 3 plus 1 we will add this x is equal to square root 3 plus 1 i put this value in this equation so square root 3 plus 1 plus 153 now you can see that here is x to the power 10 it will be 32 times this time this it will be 209 square root 3 plus 209 plus 153 this time this it will be 209 now here x to the power 10 it will be 32 times 209 square root 3 plus 209 plus 153 it will be 362 so we'll find out 
x, x it will be square root 3 plus 1 and whole to the power 10, it will be 32 times 209 square root 3 plus 362. This is our final answer in this maths question, in this vertical maths question. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for other interesting videos. Goodbye. Take care.